Hey guys, it's Cooker 3 and welcome to part 23 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda 22. No, it's 23. Uh, of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. In the last part, we started Skull Dungeon. In this part, we're going to continue it. Come on, into the fire lava. Or the regular lava. It's up to you. Can I kill you with these? Well, not if you're not in your range. Nope. What happens if you fire gale seeds at them? I've never tried that. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, the reason I was shooting them was so that I wouldn't get hit into the lava, but no, I can just walk in on my own. So, let's do this puzzle. Hopefully, it won't take ridiculously long. Hooray, it didn't. I did no random failures for no apparent reason. Oh dear. Ah! So, first you want to take out these guys, because they might just be a bit annoying. Then you want to take out these guys over here, but you're not going to be able to. So, um... Push, push, push! God damn it, Link. That was close. So, uh, now we're over here. And we're rolling around in the minecart for no reason. I'm dizzy. Oh, hey, snakes! Ah, freaking freaking snakes on this mother freaking plane. Except we're not on a plane. We're in a dungeon. Um. Okay, I'm gonna use sense. Okay, I just killed someone, but... Hooray, I'm killing keys with my seeds. Can I get this done? Thank you, please. Thank you, please. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. But it will do one day. Come on! Maybe if I... Nope. Sorry this is taking so long, guys. I'm just distracted by my own inability to hit a switch. There we go. I'm not completely retarded. Well, I kind of am. But nonetheless, I've got a key, so it all works out. Already three minutes in, and I've moved, like, what, three rooms? Oh, no, not you guys again. See, it wouldn't be so bad if they just jumped, but no, they fire projectiles as well. Ugh. Cheap little bitches. So, not only are keys used to open doors, they're used to open blocks for some reason, which doesn't really make that much sense, but whatever. We'll let them have it this once, or these few games. Um, because, you know, they like to make locked blocks for some apparent reason. These guys I think you have to kill now. Um, come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so you do have to kill them, as you could plainly see. I don't think you need to save this part or anything. Fairy! Yay! That was nice of it. Uh, so now we've got full health. I mean, we're only one heart off full anyways, because I went off and got some. I got some health off screen, but you know, it's always nice to have full health. Yeah, I should really probably stop doing these ridiculously stupid jumps and just focus on trying to play the game. And I just lost the game. I'm very sorry. Ah, frrrrkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkk
this is just... Finally! Yeesh! So, I can do it if I don't talk. <laughs> oh, thank you, you annoying little bitch. Yeah, I acknowledge that those guys are normally bitches, but these... Those ones... That one is cool. I'm guessing his friend will be a bit of a bitch as well, but you know. Yeah, he is! He just killed me! I just want to kill you so I can get... So I can steal your heart. Why do pea hats have hearts anyways? They don't look like they would. They look like plant matter. Fine, stay over there. See if I care. Little bitch. Um, so I think I might die soon, which is a shame, because it's never fun to die. Um, I just really need some health, people. So, if you have any health lying around, send it to P.O. Box 9294. And then whoever owns that P.O. Box, if that's even a number uh, for a P.O. Box, will be very confused and probably quite disgusted. Although, actually, no, that would only apply if it said if you have any spare hearts. Um, but I actually said health, so... Oh, very brilliant. Brilliant. Which suggests to me there's going to be a mini-boss in here! I am right, and I know exactly... I do not know exactly which one it is. My mighty sword and mighty shield shall crush you! I forget how you kill this guy. But... Um... Oh, yeah, I remember now. You get his sword to hit him. You have to sort of stand between him and his sword. And then eventually... There we go! He moves a bit faster and his shield is slightly broken! Hooray! Did I say you get between him and his sword? I meant you get him between you and his sword. But you can also get between him and his sword and it'll sometimes work. You're just more likely to get hit that way. Um, so... Ugh. Come on, you little bitch. No! That's not what I want you to do. I want you to die! Please stop being so crap. And just pay attention. Come on. What?! Okay, come on, seriously. God, come on! I can't hit you if you just keep running away from the sword. There we go! No! My mighty shield is broken. You'll pay for this. Ah! Bitch! Help! Help! Hooray! He wasn't too bad! Actually, he was very annoying. I hated him. And he hated me. So, here's the non-annoying kind. Well, they're still kind of annoying, but it's not that annoying, you know? They at least stay on the ground and don't throw things at you. Um, so, over here we go downstairs. No, we don't. We have a bombable wall is what we have, people. So if you don't have bombs, then you're screwed. Though I expect you'll probably have bombs. Oh yay, it's one of these rooms. I'm pro generally not too fantastic at these, but I still like them. Um, so basically you've got to go around the room, getting every block uh, to change colour. I think I've already failed this. Yes, I have. Uh, you've got to get every block to change colour. You can only go to adjacent blocks. Um, so, yes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want to go that way. Maybe I can still do it. Yay, I did it! Woohoo! And here we have the item! You got the switch hook. Shoot at an object to switch places with it. Yes, that's this game's equivalent of the hook shot. Only instead of going over to where the thing is by it dragging you or bringing something to you, you just switch places with it. And now we can go places we could imagine. Um, well, we can, you know. I mean, it's not that hard to imagine switching places with something. Um, so this opens up also a few areas around uh, the world map. 
Um, such as in the mayor's house, I think? Or is that only in seasons? No, I think it's in this one. Um, so yeah, it's primarily to move those diamond blocks in this dungeon, I think, but, you know. Um, I think you can also use it on enemies, including, do you remember, quite a while back... Yeah, you can use it on enemies, but uh, it's not that helpful. Uh, do you remember quite a while back, the enemies with masks on, or the, um, protective shields on their faces? If you use that on them, you, you take away their face. Uh, no, you take away their shield. Um, so you can hit them... And they look kind of like lo 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 slash la la la, only red under there. It's kind of cool. Um, so maybe they'll go around making puzzle games. Anyways, I'm going to end this part now because I've got no time left. So in the next part, we'll continue the dungeon. I will see you then. Goodbye.